Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm looking at two neutral blushes that seem to work for a lot of skin tones, and I've never owned both at the same time before. So today it just kind of popped in my head to look at them both side by side and see how they compare. For years, Cargo Tonga was my favorite blush. I think I read somewhere that Jennifer Aniston wore it and I got it, and again, this was years ago. And I think I ran out a couple years ago and happened to hear about Cargo Exposed, so I got that instead and I liked it as well. So I recently repurchased Cargo Tonga in one of my hauls and decided, hey, I have them both, let's look at them. So, um, here is Cargo Tonga. It's in their 10 packaging. It says Cargo. There is no mirror. So it's just that basic packaging. The size is a really good size. Let's see. 0.31 ounces. So it's a large amount of product. It doesn't really look like much in the pan, but on the skin, that's what I'm wearing today. It just gives this nice, flush, natural color to the skin. I've like I said, I've always liked it. It's been a long time favorite. I just haven't owned it in a while. And here is Tarte Exposed. Every, I think everybody knows about Tarte packaging. It's just really cute. And let's see how much product is in here. 0.20 ounces. So you get less with the Tarte. Okay, I had to pause a minute because there was a truck outside making a bunch of noise and I'm back. It's gone. And here is Tarte Exposed. And here is Cargo Tonga. So both very neutral, but just in different ways. And again, I am wearing Tonga on my cheeks now, and you can see it's just, it's not quite as light as it looks in the pan. And I'm about an NC25, if you're familiar with your MAC shades. And, you know, I'm not super fair. I get about an NC30 in the summer, and I can wear either one of these year round. You get 0.20 ounces of product in Tarte packaging, and you get the plastic container as well as the mirror in the lid, which is nice. So it just depends on if that almost 0.1 ounce of product is worth it to you. I'm gonna put the prices of the products below. I just did not even think to look that up ahead of time. This was such a spur of the moment video. I just grabbed the blushes and hit record. So I will list that on the screen right here. Um, I am gonna swatch these and see if they appear vastly different on the skin, if they feel different, that kind of thing, and I'll be right back. This is Exposed and this is Tonga. And so while this swatch is a lot deeper, it doesn't really look that much deeper on the skin. And this was a little bit hard to swatch, actually. One thing I noticed right away when I was swatching them is that the Tarte actually applied much more buttery and smooth than the Cargo did. The Cargo seemed a little bit more powdery, but it doesn't apply that way to the skin. They both apply very, very easily and smoothly to the skin and they both look very lovely. And one thing that I just now discovered about Tarte, did everybody know this but me, that Tarte pans are magnetized in these containers? I only know this because I dropped it on the floor and I thought it broke and it popped out and I realized that there was a magnet in it. Look at this, did everybody know this but me? I had no idea these were magnetized. Why are they magnetized? Does anybody know? If you know, tell me. <laughs> I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I am going to wear exposed tomorrow so that you guys can see how it differs from Tonga on my skin. This is Tonga today and the lighting may have been changing as I have been filming but you've seen it in different kinds of light. So you can see Cargo tomorrow and I will attach that to this and I'll see you in a little bit. And here is Tarte Exposed on my cheeks and next to the pan and you can see it's just a nice pretty easy flushed neutral on the cheeks and it's just easy to throw on with anything and very easy to wear. One thing that I did notice when I was paying attention to how they applied, comparing them the day after one another, was that when I dipped my brush in and started applying the Cargo Tonga, I did have to kind of use a little bit more pressure with the brush and a few more strokes to to see it. Again, I don't have super fair skin. I just kind of have mid-range, warmer skin tone. So fair skins, 
it won't be any kind of an issue but if you do have medium to deep skin you may want to stick with Tarte Exposed it just really took one swipe and I was able to get exactly the color that I needed from it so if you're light to medium you could really go with either of these they're both beautiful neutral blushes I love them I just find them both easy to apply and beautiful you do get more for your money with the cargo the packaging is personal preference whether you want plastic and a mirror and just a nice easy to close all-in-one compact or if you don't mind the 10 compact which I, you know I think it's cute it's absolutely fine for me so Either way, both really good products for light to medium skin tones. If you're medium to deep, I might stick with this one. And that's my comparison of Tarte Exposed and Cargo Tonga. I hope you found that helpful and that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button also. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.